asking our medical director the questions that you really want to know, part two. What are your thoughts on using SGAs as opposed to intubation for paramedics? Do you think that we should be predominantly switching to just using SGAs in EMS, or should we still continue to intubate? Now, Jeff, the question you pose is interesting given the recent discussions in literature, but my answer as to whether or not medics should switch from endotracheal intubations to just SGA is an absolute capitalized no. Why? Because, you know, giving up the skill set of pre-hospital innovation that is establishing a definitive airway is not only a bad idea, it can also lead to deadly mistakes as we've seen in so many cases. So, you know, to quote the conclusion from the meta-analysis on pre-hospital airway management by Nancy Carney et al., there is limited evidence to suggest differences in patient-oriented outcomes between BVM SGA and endotracheal innovations in the management of pre-hospital airways. So I advocate education and training to decide when to use either one, along with team coordination and proficiency when performing endotracheal innovation. And that's the way I see it. All you need to do is hit the link in the bio and we're gonna send all of our daily videos straight to your email so you can get your daily dose of medicine. Hit the link in our bio and sign up right now.